Hey there Mountaineer fans and welcome into our first winter installment of the year of talking about preseason. Today we are joined by three senior members of the 2015-2016 Southern Vermont College men's basketball team. From left to right we have Casey Hall, Antoine White, and William Bromierski. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Casey, let's start with you. How do you think the preseason has gone so far? I think the preseason has been going pretty well. Uh, a lot of players put in work over the summer, and that showed in the preseason workouts, and every, every workout just makes us better. Antoine, what differences do you see in this team compared to the crew that you had last year? Um, well, a lot of returners are coming back, so it's been a pretty smooth transition so far with us, uh, starting with the Kirshner workouts in the preseason, uh, guys showing up on time, and they, you know, know what to expect uh, in the program, so it's been a pretty easy transition so far. Will, is there anything you've done differently in this year's preseason that is going to help the team get further than where it went last year? I don't think we did much different, but uh, as Antoine said, I think the transition uh, that the leaders did from, from last year uh, made it easier on this incoming class of freshmen, and uh, just proceeding forward, it made it, made it easier. Casey, talk about the chemistry this team has and how you know your various group activities that you guys have done since you got back to school here have really led to the cohesiveness that your team has right now. I feel like we have really good team chemistry. Uh, we do a couple. We did the camping trip over the preseason that really helped us. But just in terms of we have classes together and we form brotherhoods from last year and then the un up uh, incoming uh, students this year. Good chemistry all around. Antoine, what did the end of last year do to this team mentally, and how do you think it's impacted this year's team? Um, <clears throat> I think we learned from last year. Uh, one of the big things we keep uh, talking about in this preseason is don't skip steps. Um, so every day we take, every day uh, in every practice, and we just live in the moment. That's one thing we keep saying is just live in that moment, whether that be on or off the court. Uh, in classroom as well, uh, you know, just take it day by day. Will, why is this team going to be successful? I think it uh, solely just uh, on the people that were here last year. I think we're kind of build the same thing. And I know Coach Dan's in his third year, and uh, he's trying to build something that he envisions. And I know being the third year that he's here, it's going to help. It. It's going to just build on top of everything we did last year. Casey, where do you think this team is right now? And how long do you think it will take for you guys to get where you and your coaches really want it to be? Uh, where we're at right now, I feel like we're a pretty good spot. I feel like we're ready for the season in terms of we can get better every single day. So I'm not sure if the coaches will ever think we're at our highest point, but we definitely work every day to get better each day. Antoine, you got a tough schedule with three teams that went to the NCAAs last year in a pair of tournaments. What is this team's attitude towards playing those kind of games before the heart of your conference schedule? Um, we feel like we're one of the top teams in the country. In order to prove that, we have to go out and uh, compete against the other top teams in the country. And not only compete, uh, go out there and win. Uh, with the talent level on this team, we feel like we can beat anyone. Uh, so that's why our coach made the type of schedule that we have right now. Will, what are you most looking forward to here in your senior season? Uh, I'm looking forward to just winning man, and playing with these guys. I enjoyed last year a lot. And I think we're all going to enjoy this year again. Casey, what can the Mountaineer fans expect to see out of the team this season? Team, they can expect to see a lot of energy, a whole lot of defense, and hopefully we'll make a couple highlight plays for them to cheer about. Antoine, it's your senior season as well. Is there a game or two that you have marked on your calendar, you know, those ones that you're really particularly looking forward to and just really can't wait for? Uh, I think I speak for myself and a lot of the other guys from Maryland uh, going back home and playing it. And the tournament that we're playing in, uh, the Maryland guys are pretty pumped up about that. But I'm definitely excited about uh, this Friday. Uh, last year I wasn't able to play in the season home opener, so uh, you know I'm definitely excited for uh, this Friday night. Will, last question. How prepared is this team to start the regular season on Friday? I think we're very prepared, and uh, we just had a great scrimmage against Bard, and uh, I think we're going to have a good week of practice going into MCLA and get prepared for them, and then take the next steps after that. Very good. Well, the Mountaineers once again open up the regular season this Friday, November 13th. 
when they host Mass College of Liberal Arts at the MAC for a 7 p.m. tip-off. SVC then begins the New England Collegiate Conference schedule on December 3rd when they welcome Regis College to the MAC for an 8 p.m. tip. And Senior Day will be held Saturday, February 20th when SVC hosts Daniel Webster College for a 3 p.m. NECC contest. We hope to see you all there. You can find more information on svcathletics.com. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today and good luck with your season. Thanks thank you. Appreciate it. Hey there, Mountaineer fans, and welcome back into Men's Basketball's Talking About Preseason. I am now joined by third-year head coach Dan Engelstad. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Always a pleasure, Mike. Let's start off with how do you think that you and your coaching staff perceive how the preseason has been going so far? Well, we're really high on what's happened so far in the preseason. Uh, a, we've avoided injury, knock on wood, got one week left before we lace them up for good against MCLA. But um, the competition level has been really high. You know, we, we wanted to protect against that with so many guys coming back and, um, you know, five seniors that really you know, have logged a lot of minutes and played a lot. But they've looked at this new year as a fresh one and they've been really um, upbeat and the practices have been really uh, filled with a lot of intensity. And it's been nice to see uh, everybody really attacking this year as a, as a new one. And um, So we're really optimistic about what this uh, team's future will look like. Now you're about three and a half weeks or so into your preseason. Do you think this team is where you envisioned it would be with three days left to go before your season opener? Yeah, it's had its days where you're scratching your head and you know they confuse you and you're wondering, are we doing this all the way right? But overall, the collective effort has been been there, and um, so we're really excited to see what it looks like against somebody um, when it really matters. We've had two good scrimmages and. Uh, so we're, we think we're close. We think we're close to, to being where we need to get it to be to start the season. Now each of the last two years that you've been here at Southern Vermont, you've started on the road. This year you're starting here at home in front of your home crowd at the Mountaineer Athletic Center. Does that make any kind of difference in how you and your team start the season? Uh, no, I think it's, it allows our guys to get really excited. I mean, the, the home court advantage that we've had over the last couple of years has been um, something that's absolutely helped us in, in my few years here. I mean, last year we only lost two games in the building, and you know we talked to them how important it is to protect our home court and with the crowd and um, the noise level that, that that the MAC provides. You know, we're we're excited to get a chance to, to open up the season here, and um, you know I'm sure the MAC pack will be loud and ready to go, and, and hopefully we can give them a show. Now next weekend you guys head down to Maryland for the Hoopsville National Invitational Tournament. A lot of tough competition in that classic. When you signed up, did you think that you'd get lined up in a pair of games against teams that went to the NCAA tournament last year? And what kind of feeling are you trying to get from playing a tough non-conference schedule against teams like that? Yeah, I actually, when I talked to the uh, people that were interested in having us play in it, you know, I asked that we play some really tough teams, and it really wouldn't have mattered who we played because everybody in that tournament has 20 plus wins from last year, and um, we get a chance to play two NCAA team tournament teams, as you mentioned, Salisbury, who's uh, won a game in the NCAA tournament last year, returning a lot of good players, and then St. Thomas, who's preseason number four in the country. So the reason why we wanted to have this tough non-conference schedule, I knew returning the amount of players that we did from last year's team that had success and played a really um, had a great season, I wanted to challenge them. I wanted to set the bar high. And you know, you, if you ultimately, I think every team has a goal of winning your conference tournament and going to the NCAA tournament. So for us to play teams of that caliber, we're just trying to put ourselves in a position that hopefully we played enough of those games that if we do get fortunate to make a run into the tournament, that we've it's not new to us. Our guys have experienced that, and we've been in some of those games. That you know, it's it's important for our guys to to get a feel for what that atmosphere feels like. Now, have you or your coaching staff or the leaders on the team have you guys seen any sort of carryover mentally or in terms of your team's attitude, whether positive or negative, from how the season ended last year? Both you know, losing in the conference championship game, but then going on to winning the ECAC New England championship. 
Well, the loss I know stung. It stung for all of us. It was, uh, you know, we had such a, a great season last year, and to have it end in your building in such a, a tough manner, it was great to see the guys rebound from that. Because a lot of teams, when you when you go through that emotional defeat, you know, you want to see how they respond. And for us to be able to go and, and win the ECAC championship was a testament to the guys that we had on last year's team. Now, this year's team is new. We got new players. You know, we have a lot of the same returners from last year's team, but it's it's a brand new season. So the good thing is when you have a veteran group is they can pick from some of those experiences. And I know that that, that loss last year still, you know, still hurts them. And I know that, you know, hopefully it provides a little bit of a extra giddy up for days that, you know, maybe they don't want to get extra shots or they don't want to put to put a little bit more work work in the in the gym. So, you know, I think it's it's A motivated us. B, you know, I think there's an extra an extra chip on our shoulder to, to try to you know accomplish our goals because we didn't we didn't get the goals that we put out there for us last year and um, you know proud of what we accomplished but we're still hungry for more. What do you think is going to have to be the biggest obstacle for your team to overcome this year in order to succeed and complete your goals? Yeah, we have a, a really talented team, top to bottom, and uh, guys that you know I, I feel that could play significant minutes a lot of places and we play a style as. You know, we, we play what we call our brand of basketball, which is records up and down, fast, te fast tempo, playing a lot of different people. So for us to really have that, you know, successful season, and um, you know, a guy's got to continue to be selfless and, and put team first, and really buy into, you know, understanding that all right, there may be days where someone else is playing well, and you know, and so far it's been great. The guys, it seems to be a tight knit group. So if we can keep that. If I keep our attitudes right and just continue with this relentless work ethic that the guys have had to this point, you know, I, I, uh, I'm looking forward to, to a fun season. Now, at what point do you think that this team is going to be playing at, you know, as well as it can be at the point where you and your coaching staff really envision it's reaching its full potential? Is that now? Is it going to be come January, end of the season? Yeah, you know, well, you don't want to skip any steps. Every game is important, and you, you know we, we approach it especially early on. We want to be playing well, and we want to be playing at a high level. Um, you know, if you look back at last year, I don't know if we were playing our best basketball come into March. You know, ideally, you want to be peaking and playing at a level that you haven't hit yet. So, you know, we just going to try to hold these guys accountable for all the little details, and, and hopefully, you know, we're we're peaking at the end of the season, but we're still playing a good, solid brand of basketball and an unselfish style that, um, you know, can kind of last throughout the entire season. And if, uh, if that's the case, then, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, be a little, everyone's looking for the season. Awesome. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a great season. I know a lot of people out there are really pumped up and ready to go for this Friday when, once again, the Mountaineers host MCLA right here in the MAC. Season opener, first time since 2010 that the Mountaineers will awesome. open on their home court. We hope to see you there. If you can't make it, check out the online schedule page where you'll find the link for the live video broadcast. Coach, good luck this season and thanks again for joining us today. Thanks, Mike. Always a pleasure.